<clears throat> Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Phil with my lovely co-host, Samantha. Hey, guys. What's up? Welcome back. We're Bars and Barbells, and we are coming back to who today, Sam? Linda Ronstead. We've got long, long time. This was one of the ones that you guys were saying that we had to get to. And we're going back to the studio version this time after yeah. doing a midnight special one on the last one. Yeah, her vocal is awesome. I've really enjoyed our experience with her so far, so I'm excited to see what she brings today. She seems, as you guys had pointed out and made a comment of, that she could sing a phone book if she wanted to. <laughs> um, she's that talented. And uh, we've really been blown away that she has so much versatility. Oh, yeah. But I think... This is a country folk kind of vibe, but that's, you know, just off our basic research yeah. that we've done in the beginning. Anyways, you ready to check out more Linda? I am. Let's do it. Let's roll. goodness she just continues to blow me away sheesh man the vocal range vocals are outstanding it's just it's like just some strings and linda and it's all that's all you need to make yeah. the most dramatic feeling ballad love country vibe that you can possibly imagine yeah, she just really pulls on the hard strings with the way that she uses her vocal to go in these high and lower registers and just really bring emotion through the song well i thought it was crazy too how she was basically making a melody with her vo voice performance right yep. like of course you have the strings in the background there but the whole song is based around her vocal yeah 100 percent. it's almost operatic in some some ways yeah you know like uh, she's got this opera vibe to it but it just somehow meshes so brilliantly into a dramatic love song yeah especially when she has those like higher longer like she's holding the notes for longer yeah 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 and so clearly that's highlighting her vocal capabilities yeah. being outstanding but it's really heartfelt as well like the way she's singing is one thing but then the lyrics on top of that the way she sings those lyrics mm -hmm. is makes it even more emphatic yeah like she's, she's delivering like the pronunciation of the words and stuff yeah she's such a powerful and emotive singer yeah that's what i've just you know every single performance that she's done or we've seen it's been so captivating. Yeah, I think the thing that I really love about her voice is that she has so much power, but she also has so much vocal control. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, there's some artists that we've done that have a ton of power, but it's not as 
polished and controlled. Yeah. Whereas like hers, it's like she can be a high one second and come right back down. It's just so well controlled and smooth. Yeah. It's almost like a tsunami. You know, yeah, it's like, like it's like it's just powerful and, you know, magnificent to see and captivating. But it's it's just like so powerful that if you get caught up in that wave too much, it's like it could blow you away, like blow the speaker out or something like yeah, that. Yeah. But she controls it so well yeah. that that doesn't happen. So yeah. it's, it's it's you know really impressive just to see every single time that we've done Linda. You know we just seemingly are more blown away. I know I'm like we've heard her before, and in this I'm just like, what is happening? Let's get back to her blowing us away. <laughs> all the way around in terms of you know, the song itself, the performance, the musicianship, the composition, the lyrics, the heartfeltness of it, just pure beauty captured. 10 out of 10. Yeah. And, um, I particularly re liked the use of so many different strings in there. Um, you know, it sounded like there was a slide guitar, a slide guitar towards the end it sounded like there was an acoustic guitar, but they were finger plucking. It sounded like the way they were playing it, uh, violin or a fiddle, whatever your preference and calling it is. Um, so I, I, there may have been more in there as well that I didn't pick up on, but, um, I'd be curious to know, I felt like there was, you know, a strong bass groove in there as well. And whether that was maybe another form of string, like a cello or something, I yeah. don't know, but, um, very, very, you know, well put together and so powerful. Obviously it's like, you know, this longing feeling that she was able to portray and, uh, you know, captured it perfectly. Yeah. Like I said, when we paused it, just like really tugging on those hard strings, like really bringing the emotion into it for sure. Yeah, and I love that, like I talked before about her control, but one thing I noticed in the, the back half is like she would be able to go from like belting it out one second to right back down into a more subtle kind of almost like as if she's like, I'm not whispering, but just like like a very regular, almost like she's just saying a word, mm. but then keep it still sounding so ear-pleasing and beautiful. Yeah, there wasn't a weak component no, throughout. It was no. 
yeah, all the way through was just wild. strong and steady. So yeah. I loved it. Loved Linda Ronstadt in yeah. general. Yeah, she's big, awesome. Big fan of hers. And um, I know you guys are big fans as well. So make sure yes. you hit that like button if you enjoyed this one. Let us know where you'd like us to go next. I think she has a pretty large catalog. She got some Grammy nominations and in the 70s. They said her career spanned like four decades or something, yeah. right? So. Yeah, and only retired because of Parkinson's disease, unfortunately. So yeah. um, let us know what you'd like to see next, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and, and the like button us. alongside of that. Other than that, all they got to do is have a great day. Yeah. And then come see us in our next video. See you then, guys.